Hello. Are we liking the background today? Behind me, featured in this video, today only, and probably a few more times, we have Backpack Dirty Laundry. How's everyone doing today? It's Wednesday. But before we get started, as most of you know, and if you don't know and you're new to this channel, welcome, hello. We are all a bit nuts around here, but don't worry, you'll get used to it. If you are new here, welcome, and to let you know, I am partnered with italki, which is an amazing online language learning service. So, twice a week, I like to offer my little psychos a buy one, get one free on their language lessons. So many of you have signed up, it's absolutely insane. Feedback I get is incredible, because you go online and people are loving the community on their websites. You simply book a lesson with a native speaker and they will teach you a language. They have thousands of teachers, so many languages. Whatever you wanna learn, now is the time. And if you use the link down below, you can get a buy one, get one free on the lessons, which is awesome. Thank you, italki. So today I'm gonna to go through how I edit my travel photos. With YouTube, YouTube became my job which I'm really happy with. Photography, I never want to become my job. It is really a hobby for me. And I did photography in school for a little while. So back then I learned how to use Photoshop. And now I have no idea. I don't even have Photoshop. Now I'm gonna show you how I edit my photos on my phone, because I super important. I have an amazing app, which lets me download from my GoPro through the GoPro app and then pull them onto this app and it just makes them pop. And I'll also show you how I edit on my laptop with another free piece of software. Editing photos should not take long. You really don't, unless you're doing something absolutely spectacular, then really you don't need Photoshop. You just need something that brings out the color, can sharpen it up. You can really just add the little effects without having to use filters on Instagram because I'm quite against filters on Instagram. I don't really use them, it's very rare that I would. Now, a few of my shots I have, but I've got into the habit the past like six months to edit them before they go onto Instagram. So the program I use on my Mac is called Photoscape X. I don't have the pro version because it is quite expensive and I am happy with the free version. So basically you just drag and drop your image into the program and just going on adjust and looking at the brightness and color, they have an awesome feature which is called deepen. Now for this, I'm gonna go really dramatic. Like I wanna like black out everything and the vibrance tool has to be my all time favorite because unlike the saturation tool, which can be quite harsh on colors, it can be good, but vibrance just brings out the subtle hints in it. It just really makes it pop. Now, if you want to lighten this and the light and shadows is an awesome option, often, often, um, because it doesn't dull it too much like the brighten option does. However, we don't want to do any of that today. We want to keep it dramatic and even go ahead and darken those highlights. And boom, I always like to sharpen it up just a little bit. Pull it back a bit, it's a bit harsh. And voila, before, after. Nice. Okay, let's go into another one. This is one of my all time favorite shots. This was taken on Gila Tarangan in Indonesia. This place is called the Pearl of Tarangan. If you want to know, go to this place. Now I'm gonna whack the vibrance up straight away because the colors are so insanely good. And I'm gonna deepen it a bit because vibrance can sometimes, I don't know, deepening it just adds that extra level and just separates the objects almost. Now, saturation you can go pretty wild, which I won't do because it just makes it look a bit cheap, but I'll add a bit of saturation. Before and after. Very nice. All right, so again, give it a bit of sharpening. So if you do have like a smaller camera, a compact, or you're taking it on your phone, there's really no excuse. Just a little bit of sharpening will really bring out those edges. I'm gonna go through one more with you on my laptop and this is when you get a shot like this because you're standing in the wrong place and there's not very good lighting and it can be really difficult. So first I'm gonna straighten it up slightly. I love the straightening tool on this, keeps all your proportions. And then we'll go ahead and I'm gonna lighten the shadows. The great thing with this is it just picks out the shadows. It doesn't 
Unlike the Brighten option, which brightens the whole screen and you can lose so much detail, Lightning Shadows just focuses on the dark bits and just brings them out, which is really good. But I also like to deepen it with it because it can flush it out a little bit. Yes, Ali, this is very good, well done. Yes, yes, very precise. Auto contrast can work really well on this actually sometimes. See? Makes it pop, brings it out. You can just change a really dull photo with a couple of quick edits. You can bring it to life without making it look overdone. And of course, we'll do a little sharpening as well. There we go, beautiful. So whether you're taking it with your phone, your GoPro, a DSLR, whether you only have your camera and a phone or you have a laptop, there is no excuse not to spend literally 20 seconds. That's all it takes me to edit a photo. 20, 30 seconds, unless it's like major work. But I never do too much. I want to keep it as raw as possible, but just when the camera doesn't capture what your eyes seeing, which is most of the time, because the camera pretty much never will, because the eyes are amazing. Then when you see that kind of green and you look at your phone and you see the picture and you're like, that's, mm, just give it a bit of, Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how I edit photos on my phone. Okay, so I've had a lot of problems trying to film this bit. I filmed it first, then my SD card failed and like corrupted all the files. Yay, win-win. And um, then I realized I didn't have any photos that I could show you on my phone because I like to keep my SD card really clear. So, so I got a few photos now that are unedited. This is from Bali, Indonesia, and the app I use is called Snapseed. Snapseed is amazing and I don't do anything heavy. I get a tune image and they have some awesome effects. One is called ambiance and I'm just gonna show you what that does. See how it instantly brings out the entire picture. It is absolutely awesome. I'm gonna put that back a bit. You can play with your saturation like with most editing. Um, I don't like to go too heavy on saturation, otherwise it looks a bit fake. But you can give it a bit of saturation and a little bit of contrast boom done look how quick that was and it's not a drastic effect but it does bring it out okay let's try another one okay here's one i really like this again was in ubud in bali in indonesia and this was at the cafe overlooking the rice paddy seriously you have to go and see this Okay, so again, we'll just go to tune image. Now, you can put the ambiance up, which brings it out, or you can put it down, which can be really nice in nice, uh, nighttime shots. However, we're just gonna bring that out. We can go quite heavy on the contrast. Okay, and just one more. Oh, hammock, Gili Trangan. Absolutely amazing place. All right, so I already know I wanna play with the saturation because it's a sunset. And look at all these colors. Can you even see the colors? Ooh, too much, too much. Okay, already? We're bringing it out. Now with ambiance, I mean, Boom. It looks like daytime with a sunset. And just look at those incredible colors. Hey guys, so I hope you enjoyed that. Now it's time I'm gonna show you my best before and after shots of editing. Lego. If you enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up. I love doing trophy. I know I'm not that good at it. Um, I just do it as a hobby. It's just something I enjoy. It's not for commercial purposes or anything like that. I don't sell my photos, um, but I just like taking them. I like playing with them. A couple of little simple edits will go a really long way. I promise you. All right, I gotta go and edit this and get it up for you because it's Wednesday. Yeah, I'm feeling it on Wednesday. <laughs>